Alright, welcome back to another video, and so this time, I'm going to be talking about how a YouTuber called Yes Theory is a fucking fraud. So this guy, Yes Theory, he's one of those, like, travel vloggers, you know, I've subscribed to a few of them, uh, cause it's pretty interesting, you know, just going around the world, meeting different people, like, seeing different cool-ass places, like, you know, that's cool shit to watch. But today, he released a fucking video, which is titled, Time For Me To Share This. And it is this horrendous video where it opens up with him talking about, like, a cook is someone who replicates the recipe to a T. I believe that a true creative is more like a chef than a cook. And it usually comes out worse than what the original recipe was. A cook follows a recipe step by step trying their best to replicate what was in the instructions, often producing a meal that was slightly worse than in the picture. But a chef is someone who innovates, who tries new things, and creates their own recipes. A chef, however, is trained to understand taste, ingredients, dining experiences, flavors, and technique. This training makes it possible to innovate, seek uncommon combinations, and create their own recipes from scratch. And then he goes on to say, and that's why I'd like to share my course with you. Yeah, so this is just a huge fucking sales pitch for his course. And guess what? Guess how much it is? $350. Alright, and so, you know, I watched the fucking video and it, while he pitches his course and, like, has this dramatic-ass sad music, this emotional shit, like, this is, this is your moment. Take, you know, it's, it's like an Eminem. It's like, take the moment. Take the moment, brother. Um, and so I go to click, you know, so, like, obviously, like, you know, I'm not going to click, but you go to click. Look how much it is. Come on, pop up. And there it is. $349 for six weeks. For six fucking weeks. Dude, I don't know. This guy is a fucking fraud. So, like, I've watched a lot of his videos, and honestly, he seems like a sociopath. He's in so many of these, like, weird, like, heartwarming situations across the world. And he just always, he seems like his emotions are either just fake or non-existent. He always seemed really creepy. But now it's just like, yeah, he just is a sociopath. He doesn't give a fuck. Who cares if he gets to travel around the world and make fucking shit tons of money? Nah, pitch this course and have your poor fucking fans, like, pitch $350 for a session. Fuck that shit. Yes Theory is a fucking fraud. And legit, like, fuck every creator on here. Anybody on this, like, stupid-ass website trying to get you to pay money for their quote-unquote creator secrets. You can find this shit for free all over YouTube. There are so many free videos of creators who are successful telling people what they've done, what to do, things like that. You don't need to pay your fucking week's paycheck. Like, goddamn. Or, I don't know, some people fucking month's paycheck, maybe. I don't fucking know. Like, Jesus Christ. In this smug-ass face. Fuck this guy. And the comments are not having it. So, you know, the dislike ratio, really bad. Like, we're looking at, like, you know, uh, at the moment of me looking at this, it's like 7.2k dislikes and 9.5k likes. But even the comments are like, you know, like, let me put it this way. You don't always need the most expensive ingredients to create a great dish. You can become a great chef by starting out with the basic ingredients and evolve your own style. And it's like, yeah, this, this brother's spitting facts. Like, the fuck, like, having to spend $350 to be a chef, like, fucking yes theory says, goddamn it. Like, I'm gonna I'm cook up my own food. Like, I'm gonna be chefing, like, like a boss. Like, what you talking about? Um, another comment says this. I mean, how can you seriously ask $350 from people around the world to get on a live Zoom call and hear yes theory talk about things that are otherwise free on YouTube? From NFTs, to Iceman, to Seek Discomfort merch, to fundraisers, documentaries, Coursera courses, whatever. Like, how can you milk the yes fam this much and be 
quote unquote inclusive to people on the planet. My tip buy a mic, film on your iPhone, and use free resources to learn. I really love you guys, but this feels like a lazy money grab, honestly. And yet, these people were being so overly charitable. Even them were like, yeah, this kind of scummy, bro. So, I don't know. No remorse for these fuckers. This is like, I don't know, this is just some scumbag shit. And apparently, this is a reoccurring trend. <laughs> okay, and then the motherfucker comments, and he's like, uh, I don't usually read the comments, but, but we noticed the performance, you know, uh, and we didn't see how poorly it had been received. And you go to look the like-dislikes, 11k dislikes to 12k likes now. Insane. Alright, and so the thing that is just, like, the icing on top of the cake for these guys being fucking scumbags is in the comments... Um, when someone says, like, yo, this is a quick money grab, he literally replies with, View us however you'd like. If you are looking to grow a channel, then there is not reason for you to participate in the course, smiley face. Other courses by creators smaller than us cost at least $1,000. If you see the value in the investment, $350 is easily worth it. If you aren't trying to build a career around storytelling, YouTube, or think you can get the same thing for free on YouTube, then it's definitely not for you, and you can ignore this launch. Like, are you fucking kidding me? He's trying to, like, gaslight and sweet talk these fuckers into thinking you can't get the same shit for free. You can get any of this shit for free, of the shit that they sell in these bullshit fucking courses. So, fuck yes theory, um, I will be unsubscribing. And then just to end this off, I'll read this comment as the, um, as the outro plays. Uh, click the annotations, like, subscribe. And thank you for watching. Here's the comment. To anyone reading this, absolutely do not throw your money away on this borderline scam. Spend that money on a good camera or microphone instead.